This video will show viewers how to read a VFR sectional chart. This topic is often asked about on the private pilot check ride and is important to know when flying VFR. There will be a quiz to test your knowledge towards the end of the video. We will use the VFR sectional chart for Seattle to illustrate how to read a VFR sectional chart. Let's look at Boeing Field highlighted in the chart. The control tower frequencies are 120.6 and 118.3. Most smaller airports only have one control tower frequency. The ATIS frequency for Boeing Field is 127.75. The airport elevation is 22 feet, and the airport has lighting limitations as denoted by the letter L with the asterisk. See the Boeing Field Airport Facility Directory for more information on lighting procedures. The longest runway at Boeing Field is 10,000 feet as denoted by the number 100 next to the letter L. This number shows the length of the longest runway at the airport in hundreds of feet. The Unicom frequency is 122.95. Notice Auburn Municipal Airport located in the red circle. Since the airport is shown in magenta that means Auburn Municipal is an uncontrolled airport with no operating control tower. All airports in blue have a control tower. Airports shown in magenta do not have a control tower. The airport elevation is 63 feet, lighting limitations exist and the CTAF frequency is 122.8. See the letter RP followed by the number 16? This means that pilots need to fly a right-hand traffic pattern when landing on runway 16. See the blue arrow pointing to the magenta circle with dashes sticking out. If there is a circle with dashes sticking out, this indicates that fuel is available at the airport. If no dashes are sticking out of the circle, then there is no fuel available at the airport. The hang glider with the letter H surrounded by a diamond is an indication that there is hang glider activity in the area and pilots should remain cautious and watch out for this traffic when flying in the area. Glider, ultralight and drone operations will show the same symbol except they will have a different letter in the diamond. Areas with ultralight operations will have the letter U in the middle of the diamond and glider will have the letter G, unmanned aerial operations, or drones, will feature the letters UA. Notice the symbol on the left side of the chart that looks like an A-frame with the dot at the bottom. This symbolizes that there is an obstruction in the area. The number 621 indicates that this obstacle is 621 feet MSL, or above mean sea level. The number 309 surrounded by the parenthesis indicates the obstacle is 309 feet above ground level, abbreviated AGL. See the blue rectangles in the chart with the arrows pointing to them. These numbers indicate the floor and ceiling altitudes of the Class B airspace surrounding Seattle-Tacoma International Airport. So the area in the upper left of the chart means that the Class B airspace to the west of Seattle-Tacoma International Airport extends from 5,000 feet to 10,000 feet MSL in that area. The star inside the green diamond indicates that a rotating airport beacon is in operation from sunrise to sunset at the airport indicated. See the number 25 surrounded in the dashed box. This indicates the ceiling of the Class D airspace surrounding Renton Municipal Airport. Notice the letter R surrounded by a circle highlighted by the green arrow in the bottom of the chart. This symbol indicates the airport is a non-public private airport. The magenta circle for Vashon Municipal Airport indicates that Vashon Municipal Airport has a runway that does not have a hard surface. When you see these circles that are not filled in, this indicates the airport has a gravel, dirt, or grass landing strip. The orange circle in the top of the chart just to the north-northwest of Boeing Field indicates a TFR, which is an abbreviation for Temporary Flight Restriction. Temporary flight restrictions are typically issued during sporting events or other events where there are large crowds in a confined area. We will now test your knowledge with a few practice questions. If your airplane were positioned here, see the airplane symbol to the right of the chart, flying northbound at 5,000 feet, would you be in the Class B airspace? If you answered no, you are correct. If your airplane was flying between 6,000 to 10,000 feet in this area, 
then you would be in Class B airspace and would need to get permission to enter from air traffic control. If your airplane were positioned here flying at 4,000 feet, would you be in the Class B airspace? If you answered yes, you are correct. You would be flying in the Class B airspace and would need ATC clearance when flying in this area. See the red star in the top right corner of the chart. Is fuel available at the Falls City Airport? No fuel is available at the Falls City Airport since there are not dashes protruding from the magenta circle. Notice Auburn Municipal Airport to the bottom of the chart would have fuel available since there are dashes sticking out from the magenta circle. What is the height of the obstacle just to the northwest of Vashon Municipal Airport in the top left corner of the chart? The obstacle is 823 feet MSL and 423 feet above ground level. What is the control tower frequency for Renton Municipal Airport? The control tower frequency is 124.7. What is the ADIS frequency? The ADIS frequency is 126.95. What is the airport elevation for Renton Municipal Airport? The airport elevation for Renton Municipal Airport is 32 feet. Unless given different instructions by ATC, what traffic pattern would you follow if landing on runway 34 at Renton Municipal Airport? The letters are P indicate to follow a right-hand traffic pattern when landing on runway 34. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation educational videos.